What's up everybody? Welcome to this Ark Survival Ascended guide video. So you're wanting to tame yourself a Basilosaur, right? We're gonna do several ocean tames. First job... The first thing you gotta do with a Basilosaur is locate one. They don't usually dive too deep and they can be found virtually everywhere, sort of like the Tuso. But they're generally kind of toward the surface. Here's one over here. This is my uh, preferred spot to go looking for them. Is this kind of open bay area that leads to the edge of the map, right around 95, 31, somewhere in there. Uh, you got lots of different kind of critters out here, especially megalodons. You got dolphins, and then you got mantas. You're gonna have to deal with a swarm of mantas first time you find yourself a basilosaur. Oh, that's unfortunate timing. Scuba tank broke. Now I gotta go to me and equip a new one. So, first thing you're gonna have to do is deal with the giant school of manta rays. Not usually too hard. Best tame for it is probably the uh, Baryonyx, because their right click is a spinning tail maneuver that stuns everything. Alright, easy peasy. So now we got that done with. So now we just go over here. Oh, we're heavily overloaded now. Megalodons can't hold too much. So now we go over here, we're gonna put our taming food on the zero slot of our bar because a Basilosaur is a passive tame. You just have to get rid of all those mantas that are guarding it. Oh, two Basilosaurs. All right, now with it in the right slot of our inventory, we feed the Basilosaur. Raw mutton and prime meat works better than cooked uh, cooked prime meat, but it's what I've got available for me, so that's what we're going to use. Since we got two, I'm going to go ahead and tame them both, because they're both right over here. Why not, right? You can't stop me. So now we get our mantis attention. And we start dealing with the school of mantis. Ah, uh, that's dealt with. Oh, a Dunkleo. We're gonna be taming all kinds of stuff. No, I'm not gonna mess with the Dunkleo right now, I don't think. Maybe I should, but... Alright, now we can move again. Gotta keep an eye on that Dunkleo, though. And this one's a much lower level one, so it should be a faster tame. There we go, we have fed the Basilosaur. Both of them now, so we gotta keep an eye on both of them. And basically just, you wait a few minutes between each, uh between each feeding. I think it's five or ten minutes maybe and then you go up and feed it again. This will be the one that's ready next. A few moments later. All right let's see if this Basilosaur is ready for bite number two. Would you sit still? About to accidentally tame a dolphin. Wait till it's hungry again. Jeez. More moments later. Surely you're hungry. Yes, okay, finally it's hungry again. Let me go feed the other one. The other one would be just behind this one. Yeah, sort of. I can see that. There we go. One minute, 37 seconds later. Yep. Oh, this one started to regenerate its manta squad, so I gotta kill the mantas. That is something if you're not paying real close attention. The Basilosaurs will get their mantas and dolphins, you know, following back. And that's okay if they do. Just means you gotta kill them again, like that. And resume feeding them. There we go. And where's the other one? This one has dolphins following. Oh, it has one manta, so I do have to... Be mindful of that. I want to go ahead and feed it real quick though. There we go. Fed. Now we have an upset manta. I'm going to go ahead and deal with. An important note about passive tames like this is after you feed it once, you have to wait about 10 minutes before you can feed it a second time. However, after that 10 minutes, it's only about 60 seconds or so between each uh, between each passive feeding. So, once the 10 minutes goes by, you just keep close to them and feed them their passive food and you'll get them in no time. 
That 10 minutes does feel like an eternity, though, because you got to keep an eye on them and keep them from getting their entourage back. There's one team. A really cool thing about Basilosaurs is they are immune. They get, they've got tons and tons of health. They can't go super deep or they'll start taking, uh, taking damage, but it's pretty negligible. It's not even a large amount of damage. They're very durable. They do okay damage and have tons and tons of health. And like I was trying to say, they're immune to pretty much everything. They can't be stunned off by eels. They can't be stunned out by the jellyfish, so you can stay on them. You're immune to a Tuso trying to uh, grab you off of them. I mean, they're just an amazing, tanky kind of tame. All right, let's feed this guy again. He should be just about done being tamed. There we go. So there you go, that's how you tame yourself a Basilosaur, or in my case, a pair of Basilosaurs. Amazing and extremely useful tames. If you guys enjoyed the content on this stream, feel free to like, follow, and subscribe, or don't, that's up to you guys. All right, in addition to all the defensive bonuses and reasons to have your Basilosaur, there's another thing you can do, and you can run up, and you can go into its inventory, and it has oil. It gathers oil over time. Now, unlike normal oil, this oil will spoil, but it can be used like any other oil, just like organic polymer can be gathered and uh, collected from penguins, for example. But yeah, that's one another reason to have a uh, basilisk or